What's up guys? How are you? It's Summer Geronimo here and you are not gonna believe this. I'm here in Houston, Texas. My car is warming up. This weather is insane. It's snowing. My car is like literally encrusted and all kind of crazy ice stuff. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna talk about <laughs> something that's gonna come in really, really handy. And that is social media. <laughs> because there's a lot of places throughout the country that are freaking cold right now. And I don't know if maybe you're in one of those places, but this will definitely be something that will be helpful for you. So if you're jumping on, say hi. Tell me where you're coming in from. I see Crystal, I see Ryan. What's up guys? Who else do we have? Go ahead and put where you're coming in from. Where are you coming in from today? So we are gonna be talking about prospecting. Who is this video for? If you're in network marketing and, or you're trying to build a network marketing business, this is for you. Um, we're going to be talking about how you can use social media to actually leverage it as a prospecting tool to connect with prospects, connect with people that you know or people that you don't know and make some new friends. So saludos, Oscar. Great to see you. Hey, hey, Greg. I got Oregon in the house. Who else do we have? Go ahead and drop where you're coming in from. Let me see. I see Shira, how you doing? Travis, uh, yes. Oh, you brat, Travis, 72 degrees? No way, where are you coming in from? Okay, Detroit is cold. Oh, you're in Detroit, okay, I didn't know that. Daniel, hey, hey, what's up? All right, guys, so let's talk about this. Now, this may not only be for you, but perhaps for some people in your team. If you have people that are in your network marketing business with you, feel free to share, get them on, invite them to join the party. Um, if you look in the bottom left or right, you should see a share button and you can have them join us. So I got South Florida in the house. Dude, I'm just not built for this cold stuff. <laughs> I just don't know what to tell you. So I want to get your feedback. I want to hear from you. This is going to be interactive, okay? So if you're in network marketing currently and you are using social media as a way to prospect, put a yes in the comment section. If you have not started doing that just yet, go ahead and drop a, you know, not yet in the comment section. Let me know. Let's talk about this. I got Reno in the house. What's up? All right, Danny, Danny Lachardi, great to see you. Top leader, guys, if you don't know this dude, he is a longtime friend, rocking it out and uh, starting some new ventures, so connect up with him. What's up, Maria, how are you? Okay, I got yes, I got Nolan in the house, great to see you. Greg says yes, fabulous, anybody else? Feel free to respond. What's up, Kevin, great to see you. Hey, hey, Miss Hazel. So here's the question at hand, if you're just jumping on. Are you currently using social media as a way to prospect for your network marketing business or not yet? I saw not yet go through. Hey, hey, Alicia, great to see you. So I was one of the not yet at a point in my life. You know, my husband and I got started in network marketing. It feels like a gazillion years ago, but our first go around was back in 2001. So back in 2001, they really did not have social media. And so we pretty much built our business belly to belly, face to face, friends, family, and kind of tap rating through kind of uh, the web of connections, should we call it. And if you're doing that right now, you know, thumbs up. Um, if you are building mo a lot with face to face, go ahead and drop an F in the comment section so I know, know what you're doing. And over the past couple of years, social media has just been one of those things that kind of has snuck up on us. I don't know if you feel like that. I mean, we had what, the, the, the beginning phase was like uh, MySpace, right? <laughs> I wasn't on that, any MySpacers. Um, and then after that, we had like Pinterest went through a phase and obviously Facebook came on, Twitter, different things like that. And now there's like so many different platforms and what I have seen from kind of traveling all over the United States to different events and um, predominantly at the GoPro for 2017, the GoPro network marketing event, there's over 10,000 people from, I don't know, 30 different countries that co all come together, all network marketers, all doing this professionally. And, ooh, sorry guys, I left the volume on. Um, so, and what we found is that out of everybody that's really killing it in social media, the primary platform is Facebook. 
so yay Facebook um, and obviously there's snapchat there's Instagram there's other things that are out there but let's just talk Facebook okay who likes Facebook if you're a Facebooker drop me a thumbs up let me know what your thoughts are what's up Luz great to see you hey hey Pascal so Facebook so Facebook we have a couple things to consider we have our wall and then we have like our connection with people right and so let's start off with the wall one of the things that's so very important is that your wall is like your billboard it's something where anybody that's rolling by they can see who you are they can check you out and so we want to make sure number one we're putting our best foot forward or our best pictures forward shall we say right um, and number two we don't want to be too revealing now what do I mean by that now girls you always heard your mama telling you that when you're growing up but it applies here in Facebook marketing okay but here's basically what it is your goal as somebody in network marketing is you want to raise curiosity you want to have people that they're curious about what you're doing like you're not giving the whole um, you're not giving all the information out because if you do they don't need to ask you. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. What's up, Terry? Hey, hey, Lucia, great to see you guys. Um, where are you coming in from today? I know we got people from all over the United States and we're just talking about how it's so stinking cold out there right now except for all those brats in Florida. <laughs> um, sorry, no, we're jealous. Um, except for everybody in Florida where it is warm. But for so many people in the country, I mean, I have friends that it's like, negative numbers and how do we build our business successfully using social media if we're in network marketing Facebook number one platform but one of the main things that's so important is you want to create that curiosity so for example let's talk about this let's say you're gonna post something and let's say you just promoted up or you had somebody in your team that promoted up and we you know are all for promoting those people edifying them I mean that's a great way to attract people to you however there's a good way to do it and there's a bad way to do it what I would recommend is do something where you're edifying the person you're edifying what they did but you're not saying the company name really blatantly because when you do that then they already know what it is but when you don't do that people are like oh really I see they're making moves it looks like they're doing something cool but I don't really know what it's all about so they're like oh let me message Patrick let me see what Patrick has to say and so that's what curiosity does for you another thing is like let's say people have you know sales and different things that happen in their network marketing company like if you're in a company and they do sales and promotions then uh, let me know drop something in the comment section you can drop me an emoji maybe a little gift card something like that let me know so a lot of places do promotions and sales for their products right I see Southern Georgia 64 okay girl <laughs> it's a lot warmer than where I'm at today <laughs> um, but they do promotions and so one of the things that I often see which a lot of people are actually it, it, they think it's something good but it's actually the opposite of that it has the opposite effect so we have a sale and we're like yay sale here's my product here's my link check me out have you seen this if you have seen this then drop a one in the comment section I've seen this so many times and I'm gonna tell you that it's not really effective marketing okay um, what might be a better use of your time if you are gonna market on Facebook is post a you know before and after picture or post a testimony oh my gosh you know have a picture of you with your good friend oh it's me and my buddy here so-and-so I'm so proud of them they just lost 10 pounds they just lost 20 pounds they just you know got off their medication whatever they, their skin looks so much better whatever your product does okay I'm just so proud of my buddy here they did so amazing and you know it's been an incredible journey so proud of them and you know there's more people getting great results too and so posting something like that people are like huh really what's that what's that all about right and they're interested and they're intrigued and they're gonna actually be more warm and open to what what that person has to say versus if they're like here's my product buy my link are you with me do you know what I'm talking about can I get an amen somebody <laughs> hey hey miss Angie girl I went out it's snowing it's snowing actually right now and I took footage just like I did at your house it was so much fun and then I went back inside because it was too cold for me <laughs> yes I'm bundled up it's freezing oh my gosh Shauna oh it's too cold for me so number one number one number one number one you must raise curiosity 
clean up your wall, clean up your profile pictures, clean up what you got so that if you were a prospect looking at your stuff, you would be like, oh, wow, they took a trip. It looks like they won it. Where did they go? How did they get this? Who, who, how did this happen, right? Like you don't wanna be so forthcoming that your prospect does not need to ask questions. So clean up your wall, raise curiosity. So that's part one of how to market on Facebook. But let's talk part two, which is the prospecting. What's up, Ty? How are you? Great to see you. Superstar Ty Jackson in the house. Everyone say hi to Ty. Ty is, uh, how could I describe him? An amazing um, entrepreneur who also has a huge background in film, videography, all that. So if you need any of that, you're in South Florida, hit up my buddy Ty. So let's talk about the second part. Let's talk about like prospecting. Anybody currently prospecting on Facebook? If you are prospecting, drop prospecting in the comment section. If you're not yet prospecting, go ahead and put not yet. So let's talk about this. There's three different kinds of prospects that we have. Our friends, people that we know, and we're kind of close to. People that we know, but like we know them super casually. And then people we just really don't know them at all. So. Which would you like to talk about? Because I got a scoot here and we're not gonna hit all three, but you tell me, you wanna talk about close friends, friends we know casually, or prospects we know nothing of. Let me know in the comment section and we're gonna talk about it. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> so it's funny because a lot of times when it comes to prospecting, people feel like there's a one size fits all approach, which there's not. People feel like they have to be a certain way. Um, or fit into a box. The most important thing when it comes to prospecting is you must be yourself. You must be yourself. Okay, Greg says, prospects we don't know. Hey, hey, Alicia, what's up? Cold market. All right, anybody else? Anybody else have a, have a vote? If you have a vote, this is your time to cast it. <laughs> so let's talk cold market because that's what I'm seeing come up. Cold market. So here's how I would do it if I were you. Um, okay, so Lynette says close friends and those we don't know. Okay, Lynette, you cool with a uh, cold market? All right, uh, let me know, let me know. If not, we'll have to do another one. Um, so let's talk about cold market. Here's how I like to do it. Okay, so typically when I'm on Facebook and I am just scrolling, like we all scroll, you see a friend, you click on their, their thing, go to their wall, probably a friend that's not in your company, go to their profile and just go shopping and like see who they know that looks like somebody you would like to have join your team. Like you would be, they look like a, the profile looks like what you're looking for. So then once you see, like you see their, their page, then you see their friends. Some people don't show their friends, but a lot of people do. You look at their friends and then look and see who looks good. Then click on their profile and just start looking around. Take a minute or two and see like, okay, who is this person? Where are they from? Do they have kids? Do they have pets? Like, what are they into? Just kind of check them out. And then just send them a message. Hey, so-and-so, we are, you know, we have a mutual friend of XYZ and I saw you were a friend of them and I just wanted to say, hey, it looks like you were just in Cabo. Oh my gosh, I've been there before, I love it. You wanna just basically say hi, mention you have a mutual friend and then pick up something random that you picked out on their wall and throw it out there and just kind of, you know, kind of use it as a, a way to, to, to bring that social interaction, a way to start the conversation. Now there's two trains of thought with this. One train of thought is you build a relationship, you make a connection. And then once you have that connection, you find the need with that person. Like it actually goes from being cold market into transitioning into warm market. And from there you, you decide to prospect them. Okay. That's one train of thought. The other train of thought is basically where you just, you know, kind of hit them up off the bat. And either one works, um, no matter which one you do, whether you do the connection and you start saying hi and you start going from there, or you just hit them up like, hey, so-and-so, I see you're also friends with Shelly. I've known Shelly for years. I just saw you were in Cabo or I just saw your kid had a birthday party. I just saw whatever on your Facebook wall and you look super cool. I just thought I'd reach out and say, hey, if they're a decent person, they'll probably say hi back. Now, if you want to just hit them up right off the bat, you would go ahead and say, you know what? This may seem like way out in left field. It's totally random, but you know, you look like a su super sharp person and I have a business actually right now I'm expanding and totally way out in left field, but I'm just curious, do you happen to keep your options open 
for other ways of making money outside of what you're doing right now. If you are, wonderful. If not, totally cool. Just thought I would check because you seem like an outgoing person. And that's it. And you like hit that message and you send it off. Okay? So you can do that if you like the more direct approach. If you prefer, hey, I don't want to be that direct. That's not me. That's not how I roll. Then that's okay too. You can just basically start the conversation, send a very nice message to them, um, like we talked about, and then wait for them to respond. And then from there, your number one goal when you're building a relationship with person, number one. So if anybody's taking notes, <laughs> you want to write this one down. Your number one goal is you are looking for their hot button. You want to make a connection with them, but you want to find out where do they possibly have a need in their life that you could help fill. So in building the relationship, you've heard of the four method, right? Family, occupation, recreation, recreation, message, right? That's like as old school as you could possibly get when it comes to network marketing. And the thing of it is, is with that is if you start going through these things like, oh, you've been friends with so-and-so, how did you meet? How long have you known each other? Oh, you met at soccer practice? Oh, well, I'm a soccer mom too. Like, you, do you see how you could kind of go down this rabbit trail, right? Um, and so then from there, you're going to start finding out where do they work at? What do they do? How many kids do they have? Are they married or not? Those type of questions. And from there, you're going to see like, hey, what's the opening? You know, if your thing is health and nutrition, maybe, you know, hey, have you set any New Year's resolutions? It's the time of year to ask that question, right? Um, or maybe your, your, whatever your product is, if you can find a way to ask something that's going to help open the door for them to talk about a problem or a pain that they have in their life that you can help with, then that's the path that you want to go down. Um, whether it comes to money, money is like, I'm... I think after you just kind of talk, talk to people for a little bit, you touch base with them, it's cool to be like, hey, listen, I know this is totally random and it's been so great talking to you, but I'm just curious, right now I'm expanding my business. Do you happen to know of anybody who is looking to make some great part-time money? You know, we have people that we see that are doing what I'm talking about that, you know, make an extra two to $4,000 a month part-time. Do you know of anyone? Throw it out there. So thank you, Juan. You're so sweet. Great to see you, Katrina. So guys, I think that's, those are my main tips when it comes to that. I know we didn't get into full details and I have, um, I have exciting news for you because I have something coming out soon. Not ready yet, but it's coming out soon that really dials into prospecting and recruiting and like the key things that we did to build our business, which is, you know, it's a pretty substantial organization now. Um, and it didn't happen overnight, obviously, and it didn't happen without a lot of um, learning involved, but we've been so very blessed. And so I'm going to be sharing those with you. More to come on that prospecting recruiting course coming out soon. So guys, that's it for today, but it's been great spending time with you. What's up, Cece? Hey, hey, Alexander. Girl, is it cold by you? Because it's freaking freezing over here. <laughs> Um, so guys, one other thing is if you are at a spot in your life right now where learning social media is something that you want to commit to mastering, like you want to learn how to make this another tool in your tool belt. Like maybe you have the home party thing down or you're great at one-on-ones or you're awesome at, you know, doing different things in network marketing. But if you want to really learn how to get better at using social media, then I have something that will help you out. And basically what it does is it covers the four essential elements that you need to have if you're gonna be marketing on Facebook to, to attract prospects to you. And so I'm gonna give that to you. It's gonna be an extra little bonus, special gift for you. But I'll drop a link here in the description. You can click on that. Go ahead, it'll take you off Facebook. You enter your email and then you'll get access to the bonus training. So that is it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Guys, it's been great to see you. It's 74 over there, Alicia. Oh my goodness, I'm jealous. I know, sometimes it's beautiful here and you know, it's funny, like two, three days ago, I was out, I was ready to put some shorts on. But now, literally, my pool has ice around it. Ice and snow and the diving boards covered in it. It's just like hilarious. <laughs> All right, my friends. Well guys, until next time, go out there, live life to the full, conquer your fears and go get everything God has in store for you. So take care, my friends. Be blessed, and I'll see you all next time.